B major scale. This scale has five sharps. In the circle of fifths, it follows E major scale, which has four sharps. So if you are a beginner, you can probably skip this scale for now and go on over to the A flat major scale and start there. If you are an intermediate student, then uh, stick around and we'll see what we can do. Remember in the introduction I mentioned that there are 15 different key signatures, but there are only 12 scales. Well, three of them share, and this is one of them. The B major scale has five sharps, but it is identical as far as the keys go, as far as playing, as far as fingering and all that. It is identical to the C flat major scale. The C flat major scale has seven flats. Isn't that wonderful? So you simply flat for C flat, you flat every note. You, the C flat, D flat, E flat, F flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat. And yes, there is piano music written in seven flats. Most of the time it'll be written in five sharps. The, you know, the B major scale. But just so you know, the scales are played it's the same as far as playing it goes. And at B major, we're starting with the flats because now we have some overlap. So it's like now we're starting down on the flats. Now we're not done with the sharps until we get to seven sharps. We're going to keep adding sharps, but we're going to be adding sharps and subtracting flats at the same time because the two key signatures share the same scale. So the fingering for a B major scale, well as you can guess with five sharps you're going to use all five black notes. So the thumb is going to play the two white notes. So in the right hand start out with the one, two, three, one, two, three, four. It's like we've been doing. Thumb plays the B and the E. Ring finger plays the A sharp. Use a little finger to turn around on. It's pretty straightforward. It actually fits the hands very well. It's, it's a nice scale to play. For the left hand, we're going to start out with the ring finger, finger four, on the B. That's not really the note it plays. That's just a starting finger, you know, it's like we use little finger to start on, well here we're using fourth finger to start on, because we want the third finger on the C sharp. So the thumb will be playing the B and the E. Now the fourth finger's official note is the F sharp, and that's the note it plays. fits the hands very well. When you put them together, the thumbs play together. Okay, not the middle fingers like some of the other scales. The thumbs play together. So since this scale is really more for uh, intermediate and advanced students, we'll going to talk about that. The pattern for this is first one octave, one note per beat, accent every note, claps the wrist on every accent. Then two octaves, two notes per beat, accent on the beat, claps the wrist. Then three octaves, three notes per beat, four octaves, four notes per beat, and do the parallel and contrary motion stuff. Two, just like we've been doing. I am starting on the B, which is the next to the last B on the keyboard. That's, that's the bottom B. This is the, I'm starting, I'm starting here. Alright.
can go have a martini or whatever afterward.